There are more than 67,000 AI companies that exist. And what's even crazier is that from April to June of 2024, in the US alone, there was $56 billion invested into startups and more than half of that went to AI companies. It's an AI boom. But that said, we're beginning to see a harsh reality, a wake up call in the AI startup world. And it's defined under this new term called AI washing. In this video, we're gonna talk all about it, define it, and I'm even going to give you some tips if you run or are building an AI tool service platform on how to completely avoid this death trap for AI companies. Let's get into it. And by the way, if you're new here, hello, I'm Julia McCoy. I explore the rabbit hole of artificial intelligence and how it will affect life, our economy, our work, and pretty much everything as we know it. I was a human content writer that wrote some of the top content on the web, and now I work full-time in AI. I speak on a lot of stages, and I'm even launching a book on AI called Upskill, Become AI Proof, coming out this November 2024 in all formats. Articles like these on the New York Times are talking about how AI startups are facing a rough reality check. One of the examples in this article is Inflection AI, which raised one and a half billion dollars. This company had no product to sell and didn't generate any revenue. It's a crazy story. But Microsoft paid Inflection AI $620 million for for the non-exclusive right to sell access to its model through Azure Cloud over a period of years. Now, Inflection's founder is a person called Mustafa Suleiman. He created DeepMind, which was purchased from Google and is one of the pioneers in machine learning. Mustafa even negotiated a compensation package from Microsoft that was based on his future performance building up Inflection. And then of course, his experience, the market rate you'd have to pay for that a lot of money and the amount of equity he already owned in Inflection. I bring up that example though. Inflection AI story is a good example of something that is nearly unachievable, but a lot of AI startups and founders with no product, no work experience are trying to shoot for the moon and they're landing in the dirt. And that's where AI washing comes into play. I mean, when you realize that the AI software market is already a hundred billion dollars in annual revenue and that the global AI market is almost going to hit two trillion by 2030, which is by the way, a 13x growth in 10 years, then you see why founders and people at all stages and all calibers are trying to jump into the AI arms race. And then there's a known fact going around that startups that just mention AI are getting 15 to 50% more funding just because they have that baked into their offerings, product, mission statement, etc. Techopedia defines AI washing as a deceptive promotional practice that exaggerates or outright lies about a product's or service's use of artificial intelligence. So in other words, a deceptive marketing technique claiming AI with no real substance behind it. In marketing, washing is a strategy of aligning your product or service with the market trends to achieve more growth. And the roots are in whitewashing, which is presenting this misleading, almost painted up version of something for it to create a favorable impression. Greenwash washing, woke washing, cloud washing are other terms to define other alignments that brands might try to have, such as environmentally friendly, social justice campaigns, IT or cloud infrastructure, when really all that's just BS and nothing like that exists in the actual company. It's just marketing. So for example, if a company claims that it is AI powered, but no artificial intelligence is being used in the delivery of any of their product, well, that's AI washing at its finest. And in 2024, the FTC and the SEC are actively going after companies for this. It's a big deal. In fact, there were two companies that the SEC and the FTC held guilty of claims around AI washing, and they made these companies pay the government a $400,000 fine. One company was Delphia and another Global Predictions. These were two companies that provided investment advice and made misleading claims about using AI in their services. In fact, Global Predictions claimed to be the first regulated AI financial advisor. 
Twitter. But investigations from the SEC found this to be completely bogus. And both of these firms held liable, decided to settle and go ahead and pay the fine from the SEC. And of course, there was a big press release and an example made about these companies. So AI washing is something you want to take seriously. If you're involved in or building an AI software tool, maybe you're embedding these services into your marketing, what you sell, what you do, avoid exaggerating the role that AI plays in your product or service. And of course, ultimately, don't purposely deceive your customers just to align with a trend or get more money. This is looked at as a misleading practice or straight up fraud. And that's wrong. If you use the label, for example, powered by AI, then artificial intelligence needs to be the core of your product or service and significantly contribute to the value proposition of your end product or services. If you're aligned there, you're not in danger of AI washing. It's funny because when I learned about this term, I was surprised how many companies are actually taking advantage of the term artificial intelligence, the marketing alignment there, the potential for more investment. I work full-time in AI at an AI platform that helps you grow your brand. And I can tell you that AI is the actual technology that is being used to deliver the end product or service. It's multiple LLMs. It's the automation of SERP data, analysis of topics, trends, insights from keyword research that are gathered with real-time intelligence. There's other components built in. The SERP crawling, for example, might use AI, but it might not be built on AI. But the actual AI generation of what you get in our end deliverables is coming straight from large language models, back-end prompting, and so much more that goes into our AI tool. I can see the difference. I see companies all around me in ads every day portraying a standard of AI that is clearly not matched up in their deliverable. AI washing is a real thing. It's a danger zone where companies that aren't actually delivering a product with AI are being held accountable. I don't see it as a bad thing. I I think there's so much hype out there that this kind of helps set apart the wheat from the chaff, helps us know what the real deals out there are. And if there is a consequence, like a near half a million dollar fine for companies that are using AI washing and these marketing tactics that are just sleazy, well, then we should see less of it in the markets. I'd love to hear your comments. What do you think of AI washing? Have you seen it put into practice? Have you seen companies that are claiming the use of AI that really aren't using it at all and are just saying that for marketing hype, let me know in the comments. And as always, hit subscribe and I'll see you right back here on the YouTube channel, down the next rabbit hole into the world of artificial intelligence. I'll see you around.